right, guys, throwing the Asagai Cold Steel Spear. Uh, it's not really designed. This one here, you'd have to knock this handle up, put a longer handle in for throwing, but let's give her a shot. Not too far, about 10 yards. Nice. Here, let's try that again. Tips in good shape. Well, just give us a good chance to see what that looks like. Into the dirt, still. Tips in good shape. Hello again and welcome. Welcome back to the Maniac Guy up here in Maine. So, talk to you guys today about the, let's see if I can not massacre the pronunciation of this, the Asagai. Uh, so come on in and have a look. So this is definitely, this is by Cold Steel. Uh, comes with this Kydex sheath. I just kind of put this loop on it. This is actually a legit spear. It's, it's very sharp. They actually sell, uh, so this is the, it's hard, it's molly compatible. So you can wrap stuff through it and put it in molly gear, put it on a backpack or whatever. Uh, so basically this is in every sense of the word, a weapon. Uh, this is how it comes down in through here. Uh, they sell a full length. Uh, it's got, you can put screws in if you want to set it. Uh, this basically pops right out and you can put a full length, like an eight foot ash handle on it. These are marketed as hunting spears. Um, this is more for slashing and stabbing, but um, as you guys saw a minute ago on the video, um, you can throw these as well. So they're, they're rugged. Uh, they, marketed uh, between i found them from anywhere from 50 to 100 i know that's a big price jump but it depends on the options they also sell a boar spear that's got things that come out the side and people actually do hunt uh boar with those now i more hunt milk jugs and things like that with it uh or as is the case today i've got us a rack of ribs with uh bone in to see how that's going to do we're going to hit that in a minute so yes the assegai it's a uh, I believe a South African or African uh, type of, of design for the spear. These are razor sharp, so yeah, you mess yourself up pretty easy with this. Uh, I just chose this one because of the ease of transport and uh, getting it from point A to point B or throwing it in a backpack. You guys know how much I like to hike and how much I like to just hit the woods. Uh, so. Let's see what it'll do. We've got right over here, we've got this, uh, this rack of ribs that we are going to enjoy and barbecue up for uh, supper later on. So I uh, see a hornet's already found its way around it. And uh, we're gonna see, I'm just gonna do a really quick, first I'm gonna thrust into it, and then I'm gonna slash at it. These are bone in, so we'll see what it does with the bone and all that stuff. Um, we'll get a few more tests coming up here in a minute too, uh, with some milk jugs and things like that. So, all right, let's give it a quick thrust and, and see what it does. Well, I nicked it. And just nicking it, look how deeply it cut that right there. But we'll try for a, we'll try for a more dead hit. It's hard too, where this is free hanging. It's a little tough. Just slash at it. So it came in and contacted bone. All right, I'm gonna come at this thing like I mean business. I'm just kind of messing with it right now we're gonna come right down on this pretty pretty hard okay don't want to hit my cameraman here see it actually cleaved a piece of that bone can you see that okay you can see it it came right down in here and this actually took a piece of this bone and shaved it right off so yeah, I don't think I would really, this cuts very deeply, very cleanly. I can actually see like the marrow inside of that bone right there, where it's actually come down in and cut this bone right open. Here's another one here. You see where it separated, separated that bone right there. So yeah, um, it's uh. Not gonna stab into the bone, but it'll find its way through really easy. I mean, as you can see, it's as far as a stabbing weapon, 
that's a bigger wound channel than I think I'd want to deal with personally. Uh, this is definitely going to do the job, depending on what you're what you're hitting it with. So, um, all right, well, let's move on to the uh, to the next uh, the next thing. All right, when we're while we're going to set up for the uh, phase two of this test anyway, let's uh, let's test the the slicing capabilities of this uh, after we just hit this meat multiple times with it. And now let's see how it does as far as slicing paracord. This is standard 550 paracord. No problem. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we've got this loin here. This is the part we destroyed pretty good. Looks uh, pretty nasty. Still going to cook up nice, hopefully. Have to pick some of this bone fragments out. <laughs> Sorry, hon. Apologizing to my wife should she watch this. Don't tell Jen. Uh, and... So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to try to thrust through this and into these juice containers uh, with uh, food coloring water. So here we go. Ready, cameraman? All right, he's giving me the head nod. Ah, man, my aim sucks, doesn't it? Wow. Um, okay, that was kind of fun. Let's uh, set this up. All right, let's give this a try one more time. That first one went pretty well. So, all right, let's take a closer look at what we got here. Let's cut the meat off, which just cleaved in between two bones there. And uh, went right in there pretty good. So, let's just slice the meat. So she does all right between that and, as I say, if you look closer here, it's definitely scun right into that bone pretty good. So while we got you guys right here, let's just uh, do a quick slice test. Not that it's going to stack up to what that meat was, but this is just your standard milk jug. These guys are a little bit thicker than a milk jug, which it's going to go into these without too much issue, I don't think. Yeah, that's like butter going into a milk jug. Woo! I'm thinking that would be no fun at all. All right. Well, thank you for joining us uh, to have a look at this Asagai, uh, Asagai, whatever, spear from Cold Steel. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this. Um... You know, it has a little bit of a tough time uh, as a chopper, but as a stabber, uh, wow, this is gonna do this is gonna do some damage. So, I'd, I'd bring this on a hunt if I were a spear hunting kind of guy. Of course, I'm more of a rifle hunter, but uh, yeah, I would say this would do the job. So, thanks again for joining us. It's always awesome to have you guys along as we talk about some of the stuff that I use and some of the hiking stuff and different pieces of, of equipment, tool kit, whatever. And uh, just basic stuff to get you outside, whether it be weapons or fire starting stuff or just uh, plain old hikes. Uh, get out there and uh, do something. Uh, get active and uh, enjoy the outdoors. So, all right. You guys take care. And until next time, have a good time.